and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some buried timelines. Got another timelines deck with Trundle. Time timelines is concurrent timelines. For the rest of the game, the first time you play a follower each round, pick one of three followers with the same cost to transform it into. And we're playing that with uh, Trundle because uh, you get the Ice Pillar, and it's just such a great combo with concurrent timelines with Ice Pillar. Because you still get to level up Trundle whenever you play your Ice Pillar, and you still refill your 8 mana right back, and you still um, give the strongest enemy vulnerable this round, but then you get a much better 8 drop, because then you just get uh, to choose you know, a rant, you know, choose an eight drop to, to transform it into. So that's just a wonderful, wonderful combo. So we got that in here, but there's also another combo in this deck that it's going to be focused on. And that's going to be the it that stairs plus buried in ice combo. And that's a really powerful combo. And this could be, and so like the thinking here is that this could be really good against people playing these Jace decks like Jace and Heimer and like slower decks that like play to the board and, you know, play just a bunch of units out that don't really play denies and stuff because then you you know you can bury the ice to obliterate all their enemies and you know put turn them into frozen tombs and then it that stairs destroy all landmarks all right so that's just a really nice combo there so that's going to be our top end that's gonna be like our main way to win is just basically one-sided ruination you know kind of like like whenever they have the attack token you know, maybe after the attack or whatever, but whenever they have the attack token, we're going to cast this Buried in Ice, and then it goes back to us, and then we can play It That Stairs, and then they only have, like, time to play one unit after It That Stairs, and then we can attack with our whole board. So that's going to be kind of our combo. Now we have two Babbling Bjergs in here to help us draw the It That Stairs, because there's no there's no other unit that uh, has um, five plus power, so, like, that's going to be a way for us to just find It That Stairs all the time. And then with Buried in Ice, we don't have like a specific card that automatically draws Buried in Ice, but we also have these Pharos Financiers, which could manifest to create more Buried in Ice, like if we don't actually have Buried Ice in, in hand. So hopefully with those two things, uh, we can get this combo online most every game. Also get other uh, card draw with like Aloof Travelers and Averosen Sentry, and then lots of removal uh, to help us stay alive, and then boom, finish it out with that. So that's the game plan. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We're heading on over to normal with some buried timelines. Hey, 412 Ray Ray. Hello, hello, welcome to the channel. All right, looks like we're playing against some Demacia. All right, so this is a great combo against Demacia, but again, that's a, it's a really slow combo, right? Like it, it's gonna take a while to do. I think that we need against Demacia to probably find some earlier bodies. We'll keep babbling Bjerg. But, you know, we, we need to make sure we have earlier stuff to stay alive. Okay, so now we have all that stuff. So now I wish I still had that buried in ice. <laughs> That's how it goes. Alright, so they're an elite deck. Uh, progress day... I don't think we need the other two. Alright, cool. Just started playing a few days ago here to learn. We protect these woods as they protect us. Well, welcome to the channel. Let's see. We're going to let that hit us. Alright, so that's scout, so we'll attack first. We'll let it hit us. We're down to 16. Back to 19. We go. Hits us again. We're at 17. Well, if you got any questions, let us know. You know, I'm here to help, and everybody in chat is here to help also. Love helping out new players. Let's go ahead and just attack in with this 3-3. Okay. 17 all. And then probably just playing a Babbling Bjerg. Actually... Maybe we entreat and just draw a trundle so we can trundle next round? I guess I'm not sure how important trundling next round really is. Okay, yeah, let's get another 3 3 in here for a blocker. Yeah, so scout. Scout's a keyword that says that if you attack once and you only attack with, with scouts and nothing else. Then you can attack again. You still don't count yourself, boss. 
Um, maybe an ice shard. Yeah, an ice shard could be kind of nice right here. Deals one to everything, so we can kill that. And then just kind of one to some other random stuff. Ready, boy. Oh, I don't have the mana for both. All right. Watch your toes. Hmm. I hate traffic. Hmm. Really wish I could cast both Mystic Shots. Come on. They're coming. Hi. <sighs> um. Hmm. I don't know what I Watch want to do. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, it can be multiple scouts, like like my opponent just did there. They just attacked with two scouts. Alright, so hoping to be able to Mystic Shot the Quinn. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Alright, got a Garen out of here. Very good. It's not too bad. That's I'd rather have that than a sharp sight. We Demacians are Ooh. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. These old eyes still see far and clear. Just like hunting thresher geese. Oh, right, that thing has Challenger, too. Alert the villain. Warm hearts and hot soup. Now they'll have the 3 1 challenge it. We take 7 down to 6. Play it that stairs, deal two. Mm. I don't love where we're at here. I'm gonna do this first and see if they play another unit. So I can get, you know, two damage on another thing also. I guess I could also Bladder Ravine plus Bjerg. Which Bladder Ravine would heal my Nexus for two. Hey, Lady Leximus. The work's been crazy the last few days. Missed some streams. That's all good. That's all good. Happy to have you here now. And hopefully it's been good at crazy. You know, sometimes it's good to have work be a little crazy. Because... Gotta, you know, generate that income. But, glad to have you here. Hopefully... Alright, cool. Good crazy. Good. We get to relax now. Okay, three cards in hand. We know this is some kind of challenger that they just created. Stand strong. Oh, I like that block a lot. I don't 
really need any of these. No, just <laughs> just really don't need any of these. I don't know, give it all. If we get like a trundle. And level up trundle, then we give our other things regen and overwhelm. Hopefully we don't die. You know, I'm spending all my mana. Hopefully they don't just like go super wide suddenly right here. They still have the attack token. Remember the fall. I've trained my whole life for this. That's pretty good. Remember the fall. Really? Huh. My yeah, I guess they went really wide. Alright, good game. Cause we saw it right there. One redeemer drew another redeemer, which drew another redeemer. We will not good game. Do not have sent back my buried knights. Hmm. Okay, now we got Mono Sharima. So we got our two aftershocks. Want to see those? Oh yeah, and if that stairs obliterates landmarks also. Okay. Now we got concurrent timelines this time. That's good. Um, so I like that. I like that with the Loof Travelers. I kind of want to keep this... Nah, no, we got to send it that stairs back. So we can even find Bjerg to draw and stuff. It's just eight mana. We got to send it back. Yeah, and see, now we got it in hand anyway with the Bjerg. Because by, by the time round eight happens, they've probably already... I'm going to just cast you round one. They've probably already um, leveled up Sundisk anyway. A lot of times I like to wait till like round two or round three. I like to wait on the concurrent timelines and not show my opponent the concurrent timelines. But what I'm worried about here is them playing some unit and then uh, us. Yeah, I want to be able to block. I want to be able to play that and block. That's what I meant, us blocking. That's pack mentality. So I get a 2-2 elusive or a 2-2 that can support lifesteal. Let's probably just take the elusive. I think that sounds pretty fair that, you know, financier should just have elusive also. I think that sounds pretty fair. The sun discs light leads us into the future. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> this 2 5 that starts, you know, attacking could be like a 3 5. Uh, I mean, they have this 3 4, which makes the Shiraza not as good. The only thing about the Shiraza is we have this pack mentality to go along with Shiraza. Like, that could be kind of cool. I don't know. Sure. Well, let's just take it. Okay, got rid of an Ascendant's Rise. Aloof. All right, so we don't get any of these summons, so it's just the body. So four three impact is better than the other bodies. So we'll take the four three impact. Yay! But our stuff did it. Would you look at this place? Do not see what is. See what will be. All right, gonna pass. Ooh, a second mystic shot. The order is 
Okay, hopefully we can block there. And then... Block here, block here. Just, just gonna keep both of these Mystic shots available. I think I'm willing to take six. Going down to nine, even though you know, we can shoot the three one. But I wanted to see what happens here. Which, maybe I should just be shooting that because I still have Fury of the North. Yeah, probably should have shot it. Alright, let's get Trundle in play. Get an Ice Pillar in hand. Hunting Fleet sounds pretty good. Just get a 6-6. Six, six. Those are all really good options, though. All, th all three of those. Like, Sandcrafter's not bad. Um, like, those are all good options. You have given us something to believe in. Quietly now. Move! Maybe we should be Mystic Shotting that first before attacking. I'm planning on playing Tavern Keeper, healing my Nexus with that. Huh. So now if I play Tavern Keeper, we kill the Elusive. Um... That's fine. Hey, Rose. Welcome. No, oh, this is where we need our buried ice. We don't have we don't have buried ice, but this is where you know, like this is where we need the buried ice, like for this combo. Like, this would be a perfect time to have buried ice. Yes, clear the way for me, butcher. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Well, we can turn it into an 8-8 eight, eight at that stairs. We don't get this play... Uh, yeah, we don't get any ability there, so yeah, I guess the 8-8's eight, just the best thing to get turn it into. Our 6-1 dies, but all their champions die. It would all be champions that would be leveling up the Sun Disc. The only thing is, like, Hourglass is, like, the one card that's really good for them. We know one of their cards from Gold Ambassador is a champion. It's the other two. Okay, no Hourglass. Because basically the Hourglass would just save the Xerath and then level up Xerath, but it still wouldn't quite count down the Sun Disk. Alright, 
All right, let's attack. There we go. All right, well-timed avalanche. You should be honored. And we're one on one. See you, Rose. We needed you. We need your help. <laughs> that was all you. Aurelia's Fortune. Okay. This is a, probably going to be a cool little deck. Um, love. Love Mystic Shot and Blighted Ravine. I guess we can send Aloof Travelers back. I, you know, it's... Aloof Travelers is the type of card that I don't usually send back. But we're probably going to want to play the Ravine on four, which means it'd be like, it'd be like Aloof Travelers on five. And with a, a low-cost deck like they have, uh, we may be kind of helping them out. Buried in Ice. See, there we go. That's that's what we got here. The Financier gets us the Buried in Ice. And now we have the combo. Buried in Ice, hit that stairs. Now, they're a very fast aggro deck. It also has recalls. So, not sure how much that's how much good that's going to do for us. But. Ready? Aim? Watch your toes! Love ya. <laughs> Rose says, I've been really unlucky today. Maybe you'll get all the luck I'm missing. Maybe. Up there in the mountains. Okay, so that's our last at that stairs. I kind of wanted to play that. Oh. I kind of wanted to play that before. Um... Before we drew that last at that stairs and it did nothing. My opponent with a good block. My opponent's played... Very, oh, man. They've played very well. I should have just played the Blighted Ravine. Wow. Now Misfortune levels up. Yeah, I guess I should have just played Blighted Ravine. I don't know. Showtime. <laughs> yeah, they, they they played really well. I should have played that. All right, so I don't have a very good chance of winning this game. But my best chance is probably... Because Retreat Return is, like, really likely if I would have just, like, killed it. Okay, so... No. <laughs> I was hoping they would, you know, maybe play something else, and then we could play four mana Thermo Beam. So this is us taking seven. Misfortune's got Overwhelm. And <laughs> Nerf Capitalism says, Aurelia Misfortune is S tier if you have Misfortune, F tier if you don't. Not too far off there. Stand behind me. Especially Misfortune Triple Ribbon Dancer. I never forgive myself. Pass. Wow. What are they doing? So I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, we could block Misfortune, but it overwhelms. So there's no reason to block it. I don't know what's going on. These are trolls! So they just threw away an Aurelia? 
All right, I know I could attack for four, but I'm gonna pass here. Like we're <laughs> we're trying to destabilize. I'm just gonna pass. Ooh, that could be a good draw. No, don't kill me. Don't kill me. <sighs> Passing again. Blighted Ravine is kind of, you know, I kind of want to play this Blighted Ravine because it could heal a little bit. But then again, I have so much nothing. so close. Good game. Uh, this thing, Zanii, uh, has Elusive. We can't do anything about that. GG. I didn't really deserve to be in that one. <laughs> Shouldn't have sent back my Aloof Travelers. I just ended up having all that top end. Okay, Soraka Tarek. Soraka does say support. Man, Tavern Keeper would have been really good to have last game. But it was around four. I had I had to play the ravine. I didn't, and then they had it's a big responsibility triple. After, after I don't play ravine, then they had triple of the two one attack, and suddenly misfortunes leveled up. Hey, concurrent timelines. We can we can play that. Boxedpus. This will take True Shop Barrage. I don't know, Pack Mentality could be really cool too. I'll just take True Shop. Flame Chompers, <laughs> Grey Physician, Boom Boom Boom. So it's, you know, it's just like the body. Do we, do we want a 3 1 or a 2 2? Awesome this is a region pairing. They're not just doing like one damage of stuff. Um, so we'll take the 3 1. Yeah, 3 1 matches up against the 0 3 better than the 2 2 does. And before they play Soraka, and then I can't attack anymore. Looking into the future, I oh, see. Mentor of the Stones. Uh -huh. what will you do? I'll take an Endless Devout. Don't worry. I am here. I'm not worried. Should I be worried? Yes, you should be very worried. All right, back to hunting fleet. Man, what if, what if aloof travelers is just a six six? Is that like the the fair way to to make aloof travelers a little bit better? Just turn aloof travelers into a six six. That's fair, right? Sounds fair. Here. 
here. Let's take a 3-4 or a 4-2. Maybe a 4-2. So the 4-3 still trades with my 6-4. Yeah, we're playing against Soraka Tarek. I guess we attack with, in with everything. So even though they, they get to make the 4-3-6-4 trade. But then they probably don't want to block any of this other stuff, so that's 10 damage. Okay, they block there. I'm happy with that. Four out of seven. To protect all. I feel better when you feel better. Hope crystallizes. Unyielding. And Tarek Big. I am the protector of the mountain. So they, they will take damage. They're not at can't take damage or die range. They will take damage. Go ahead and let this endless about die. And then try to kill Tarek. All right, cool, cool. That thing's still a 5-6. Uh, let's get the... I don't know, the tough elusive? Sure. We don't get the summon. Awesome, we found it that stairs. Oh, and it obliterates the landmarks, so that means our sarcophagus would get obliterated. It doesn't destroy. I think we're going to be able to pull off the combo. Alright, so plan is next round, buried in ice. Like, they play their Tarek, Soraka, stuff like that. Like, right before they attack, we buried in ice. And then, boom, obliterate. Oh, wow. That's just going to be another card for us to obliterate. Kitty Dexterity with the Tier 2 sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity. I appreciate that. The Diver's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome art and everything. That's really cool. I must inspire where once I shepherded. Right, that's my job. Shepherding, I mean. Buried in ice. Oh, Bastion. Good thing we got a Mystic Shot. So, perfect top deck with that Mystic Shot. Take out the Bastion. All right, now they got <laughs> all these landmarks. Ours is actually going to go away. Round start with the countdown. Theirs are all countdown. Uh, you know, two. Okay, here we go. Obliterate the landmarks. Uh, we'll turn you into... Oh, I was going to turn you into the arsenal. <laughs> but that, that'll do. Nice combo, two and two. Eli <laughs> Soraka got buried in memes. Uh, yeah, just played three games of Jace Tarek because the games were super, super long. So only only played three. It was about an hour. You know, be you know before I think it was about an hour for the three games. So just just played the three. Got to see everything that the deck does. Uh, 
All right, got to yeah, got to pull off our combo. That's really nice. All right, and we're two and two. Let's get a three two. Okay, Zareth Azir. So back to Mono Shirima. We did play against Mono Shirima earlier. Love the concurrent timelines. These can go, yeah, and we'll we'll find another at that stairs by the time we at that stairs. See, Bal and Bjergs are also at that stairs. You know, like we're playing five at that stairs in the deck. We can find those. All right, so Avros and Sentry is like our one unit that doesn't work that great with timelines. But again, when you, we have Avros and Sentry like this, we don't actually have to timelines right away. So we can just go ahead and play the Sentries out first before casting timeline, so that'll be just fine. The desert by my side. We didn't get a cool voice line. I really like this board. Alright, so there's Barry Denise. And we know the Babbling Bjerg will already give us... Just gonna cast this now. The very nice... Or so sorry, the Babbling Bjerg will give us our other part of our combo. The Hit That Stairs. So now we'll cast the concurrent timelines. Now we can drop Bjerg. of your city. You have given us something to believe in. Um I guess a 3-5 is better than a 4-3, I guess. No one listen. The 4-3 actually trades with this thing. The 3-5 doesn't. So were they just playing Waking Sands? Yeah, because they didn't play Treasure Seeker. So they just naturally had Waking Sands in their deck? I guess? Man, I don't know. Do we want a an Nandroid or a Merciless Hunter? I don't really know what this Nandroid's doing. We're gonna cr we'll create like one spell from the three sisters, but that's kind of about it. I guess Merciless Hunter. Oh, sorry. Sea Toxin Chad just said Nandroid. Yeah. They they don't have Renekton over here, so we should probably get some gifts for Renekton. Wolf. I don't know, like this kills the 3-1 and then I get to attack with my Merciless Hunter, it also kills my Sentry. That's not worth it. Back to Earth. I'm just gonna keep my mana and entreat a Trundle and play Trundle this next round. 
Sharif, I see what I see. Carry it with you. Emperor. I Go grab the ice pillar. How they do on a zero level of eight? Carry me, Azir's command. Your emperor commands. Ready the torches. Nothing's tougher than a troll. This one's a fighter. You're dead meat. <laughs> Pass the round. So next round we'll have enough for buried in ice. You would give me the allegiance of your city. You have given us something to believe in. Something to believe in. Smashing! Should they take the four? Really? Really? I thought they would take four for sure. That's a surprise. I guess that's why. Hmm. All right. So that's too bad. No buried in ice. At least not yet. It was right on my tail. But we got another sand crafter that can draw another if that stairs. So they need two units to level up Azir. So I hope they don't have anything that's like Countdown 2. They only have two cards left. Okay, yeah, they just got one mana left. Alright, so we're good. We're good. Your Emperor commands. They look angry. Scatter. I don't really need this war one. Stand down. Hunt down. Okay, so let's go Ice Pillar. We'll have Ice Pillar get an 8-8. Tough. We go 8 8 Fury. I don't know, we'll just take Tough. We don't get any of the, the play effects or anything, so it's just either do we want Fury or Tough with our 8 8. And then we will obliterate the landmarks for now. Get rid of this buried sun disc. I'm sorry, opponent. If you want more landmarks, we'll give we'll give you some landmarks back. And there we go. We just buried and ice them and then attack. GG's, and then even if they could stay alive somehow. Um, then you know we have another one of those to blow up the landmarks next round. <laughs> yeah, right? Soul crushing, getting that landmark destroyed right then. Oh man, at two, that's so mean. They were right there. Just about to get it together. That was that was yeah, almost there. Alright, so that's what our deck does. That's the buried timelines. You know, you just hold on. You use all this different removal and blockers. And, you know, just kind of continue on with the game. And and then in the late game, buried in ice, it that stairs. And we saw that, that we were uh, very um, consistent on those two. Especially the it that stairs, right? Because you have the babbling Bjergs that draw them. Um, so we always have that, and then whether or not we have Buried and Ice, which we did, some of those later games. Um, also, we had the Financier create a Buried and Ice for us once, so that was good. And so, yeah, that's, you know, got to show off some power there. Timelines um, makes that round eight so powerful. Drop an Ice Pillar, get your eight mana back, then drop an Hit That Stairs or a Buried and Ice. And that is so good. 
All right, so that's Buried Timelines. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching the games. Um, let me know in the comment section. But uh, that's going to be it for this Meme Tier Monday. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you for the next video.